so today I will be showing you guys how I animate in this program called Krita. It is free to use, so it's actually really simple. Um, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible depending on how fast I can draw, just so you guys can keep up, keep watching, I don't know. So, alright, let's get right into it. Um, okay, first you want to create a layer over here. Um, hold on just a second. This isn't even recording. Hold on. Let's see. Can you guys see this? Okay. There we go. So you create a new layer by clicking this plus sign over here in the corner to my right. Hope it's your right. Um, and then we're just going to name it. I actually already filmed this video and it wasn't even recording. So I have to go ahead and do this again. So if I skip anything, I am so sorry. Um, so we're going to call this eye blink. And where you can name it whatever you want. But it's just creating a layer for the eyes. So over here are the frames. The ones that I'm clicking. So you want to come over here to this box and hit a new frame. And then it highlights it blue. So then you can go ahead and hit control and click the skin color. Make sure it's working. Okay. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna come up here and put the, what is this, the um, symmetry on. That way it works on both sides, make it as quick as possible. So what I do when I'm animating an eye on a drawing, if I just wanna make it look cute and fun or whatever, um, I go ahead and I, Pick the skin color. Let me zoom in for you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I just drag it over top like so. And then I go ahead and I just draw. Maybe yeah, it's too thick. Eyes weren't that thick. Should have on thick eyeliner before. But I go ahead and I draw the eyelashes. You can actually turn the onion skins on if it makes it easier and like decrease the opacity over here. That way you can see the eyelashes. Can you see that right here underneath? Um, but I don't really mind what it looks like, so I'm not going to really rely on that. But just so you guys are aware, of, you know, what you're doing, if you really need it, then that helps. Um, so I'm going to put that back up. There you go. And then just do that. So that is the first frame. I'm just going to drag it over so that the eyes are still open in the beginning. And then she starts to close them halfway. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same, but this time for the last frame. So you only need like three um, frames for an eye blink. So I'm just going to have her close her eyes, just come all the way down. Like that. And then go back to my black and just draw over top of her eyelids. Just have them shut. Maybe add some more eyelashes because I don't want to Because she is blinking and all her top lashes are now on the bottom. But yeah. That's pretty much it. Make it look more natural. If you wanted to, you can add like a highlight. In the middle and then blend it out if you're feeling really fancy. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Yep, so first frame, it's blank. Leave it blank. You can do that by hitting the box right here. You guys can see where my mouse is. And then you can create a new one by just drawing on top like that, and it'll pop up, it'll turn blue. And then you do it again by just drawing on the next frame, like so. And then to have her open her eyes back up after she's blinking, you just wanna skip a few frames so her blink doesn't open too fast. Add that frame, so you're just copying and pasting by right-clicking, copy, and then paste. And then, you'll hit the box again and then it opens. See? Okay, 
And then if you want to add extra blanks inside, extra blanks, then you just go ahead and copy, drag, copy, and paste like that. So drag, copy, paste. I'm going to make them a little shorter. Let's see what it looks like when you press play. And zoom out. And that's what it looks like. And add another one right next to each other. See what that looks like. Cool. And then when you're done with your blinking animation, you just go up to File at the top, you hit File, and then you go down to Render Animation. I don't know why it's not popping up on my screen. Um, that's so weird annoying um, but a box does pop up here it says image sequence video or both you can I'm gonna just do video uh, first frame 0 last frame 100 frame per second 24 and then you have the file location you have to download a FFM peg file I will link something for you guys in the description so that you can download the video or watch another video to show you exactly how to do that. It's really simple. You just have to download it and then drag it to wherever you're saving your um, your animations when you render them. Uh, that way, it I don't know it utilizes that file. Um, so you definitely need that to uh, render animations in Krita. And then render as MPEG for video. I'm sorry that this isn't showing on the screen, but you just go up to File and then Render Animation. It will be there, you'll see it, trust me. Um, and then you hit OK. And then it takes a little bit to render, depending on how many frames you have and all the details, all the layers, all the different layers that you're working on. But this one's not that long, it's not that many frames, so it shouldn't take long at all. Okay. All right, and that is complete. So I will show you guys what it looks like after animating that blanking frame. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too confusing. And I hope to see you guys soon again. All right, see you later.